he liked Pokemon, he always thought at one point, wow, I really want a wall of this. <gasps> the problem with that though, is you have to be willing to destroy your cards. You have to be willing to tape them, pin them, mount them, otherwise attach them to the wall, and you know you're not gonna get those cards back as well as the wall is gonna be very hard to clean. All of the things, if you do collect Pokemon cards, there's a good chance you already have these things. This is all you need. These are clear file card holders, and we will be sewing these together to make a wall shape. Uh, yeah, so essentially this project is super simple and very doable. We are just gonna sew these together and then put all of our cards in them and life will be nice, life will be good. I do have my extra Pokemon cards here, so we will just, we'll be using these. I'm gonna start by removing the binder edges. We wanna make sure to cut it close, but not past the seam. Essentially, we are sewing a quilt of Pokemon card sheets. Yes, this is my measuring tape. Genuinely, I do love it. The pages that I'm working with are 21 centimeters by 29 centimeters, which means I don't think I have enough of these. That's what I've learned. <laughs> we'll try to make it happen. We will see how big this wall can be made with the sheets that I've got, rather than trying to buy more sheets because I don't even know if I've got enough cards. <laughs> I did not plan this beyond, oh, I've got an idea. <laughs> Doesn't have to be the biggest wall to start out. It could be a little wall. Oh, should I show you something? I have got my friend Jigglypuff joining me today. So I have prepped out 30 of these sheets. Awesome, now we sew these together. I do hope this goes well. So the trouble with this is you wanna be able to put the cards through the top slot. And if that's the case, then you cannot sew that top edge. What we're going to do instead is we're gonna overlap it ever so slightly. And I'm gonna put down the tiniest bit of masking tape, just like that. Just little pieces of it, it doesn't have to be a good piece. And we're gonna do this for the entire sheet spread. Do this a few more times. Two done. Now that we've got our columns, we're gonna sew these together. Got lots of them. <laughs> This is gonna be so good! Oh, yay! Oh, yeah! Cool. Turns out we're gonna use the sewing machine for my next January project, not this one, because it's just silly to. I don't trust my sewing machine to do well here. It is a basic sewing machine, it is not a complex one, and the pages are too close together. And I have got clear packing tape. Fact is, taping this is gonna make this project 100 times easier, so why would I deny myself that? <laughs> why? I'm about to save hours. Uh, reminder here, the taping part needs to be done on the back side. I'm going to make sure that the masking tape side is face down so that the slots still work on that side. Because if you tape over the openings, you're not gonna be able to put the cards in. But yeah, we're just, we're just gonna tape this now, so that's good. <laughs> good times. So I just, I just can't wait to put the cards in here. That's all I'm thinking about. Not that sewing's hard, but it would have been hard with how close those stitches were about to be. <laughs> awesome. Frill. Tape is so wonderful. I'm gonna need more space. Goodbye, Pascal measuring tape. I'm so much happier now that it's easy. So much happier. <laughs> I had this idea in my head of what this video would be like, and this is not it. <laughs> now I am happy. I've, I've moved the locations of it, less lights around it. I'm very happy. I'm very happy with it. This is gonna make a very good backdrop. I feel like Tom's gonna like it. Tom's really gonna like using this. Thank you for 
watching and I will see you every other day this month for a mini January. Bye, goodbye, bye. Do videos every other day. Maybe the next one will be better. <laughs> Don't know. Bye.